Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a, another video. If you are new here, my name is Barbie and thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for all my future videos. So in today's video, this is part two of how to spot fake crystals and really easy signs and things to look for when purchasing crystals so you guys don't end up purchasing a fake. So in part one, we talked about clear quartz, Laramar, and Moldavite. I will link that video in the eye above as well as the description box down below. So if you haven't seen part one, go ahead and check that out for tips on how to avoid buying fake clear quartz, fake Moldavite, or fake Laramar. Okay, so in part two, we will be covering Malachite, Citrine, and Turquoise. These are all often faked crystals out in the market. So let's get into today's video. Okay, so starting off today with Malachite. Now I made an almost 30 minute long video on how to spot fake Malachite online. See right now and let's type in Malachite. Okay, so this is what's coming up for Malachite right away. So we have some jewelry pieces, some tumble stones, and I'm just gonna scroll down and, okay, so right away, this is one of the first fake Malachite listings I'm seeing. I will link it in the eye above as well as the description box down below. And not to get too redundant, if you've already seen this video, I'm just gonna summarize some easy things to look for when buying Malachite online and in person that you can watch out for. But if you want a more in-depth video, check out that video down below. But if you haven't seen that video, let me give you some quick tips and tricks on how to spot fake malachite. Now, the first thing I look for when I'm looking at malachite is the color. Now, a lot of fake malachite uses black, but real malachite doesn't have black in it. It has a very, very, very dark green. And also with the color, a lot of fake malachite only uses three colors. They usually use bright green, dark green, and black. That's the span of the colors they use in fake malachite, whereas genuine malachite has many, many, many hues of green, ranging from a very pale green to a very, very dark, almost black-like green. So if you are looking at malachite and it only has three shades of green, it is most likely fake. The next biggest thing to look for when buying fake malachite is the pattern. Now, genuine malachite has very, very complicated orbs and patterns that you can simply not replicate in fake malachite. So real malachite has these gorgeous orbs and fake malachite doesn't really have any orbs at all. They try to replicate this, but it often just looks like paint by numbers or circles stacked on top of each other. So that's another huge indicator. Look at the color and look at the pattern because you will see it's very obvious the difference between fake and real malachite. Now in my video before I said that usually the price is a good indicator of fake or real malachite but one of my viewers pointed out that that's not always the case and you will see that in my video. Some sellers on Etsy were hiking up the price of fake malachite to make it seem like it's genuine malachite so they'd be selling fake malachite for 70 or 80 or even a hundred dollars so sometimes the buyer thinks it's genuine because the price is so high but that is not always true and some genuine malachite is sometimes only 20 or 30 dollars which is true so sometimes the price isn't always an indicator but it definitely can be if you're buying dollar malachite it's probably plastic but I would definitely use the color and pattern as the biggest indicator on whether you're buying fake or real malachite. If you are able to touch the malachite, genuine malachite will feel very heavy and very cold, whereas fake malachite, because it's often plastic, will feel very light and very warm. Now, I don't really want to recommend doing this, but this is also a way to test if a crystal is fake or not, especially if it's plastic, you could hold a flame to it. Obviously, the plastic will melt and the real crystal won't have any effect with the flame. So next we are going to be talking about citrine. Now citrine I wouldn't necessarily categorize as a fake crystal because what fake citrine is is really it's just baked or heated up 
amethyst and amethyst is a genuine crystal so it's not necessarily fake it's just heat treated and some people are totally fine with that and others aren't it's just a personal preference so let's talk about how citrine forms in nature so citrine is actually amethyst but it is heated up by the earth over thousands and thousands maybe even millions of years changing the color in the earth's crust now what people do to fake citrine is they speed up the process by putting amethyst in a industrial oven and heating it up to a degree where it changes the color of the amethyst to a yellow color to mimic citrine. Now because citrine is a real stone, why would people heat it up? Well, citrine is not as common as amethyst, so people are mimicking it to be able to sell it to you because it's not as common and genuine citrine is a little bit more expensive than and fake citrine and definitely amethyst. Amethyst is more abundantly found so it's easier to heat up amethyst and call it citrine. So I would say the biggest indicator to look for fake citrine is if you ever see citrine being sold in a cluster it is heated amethyst. Citrine naturally does not grow in a cluster form attached to a matrix. So if you have citrine on a matrix or a cluster, it is most likely baked amethyst. Another tip to look for when you are buying citrine is whether or not the color is isolated at the tip of the crystal. Most citrine, the color is full throughout the crystal. It's not just isolated at the tip. So if it's just isolated at the tip, it's most likely heated amethyst. Another indicator to look for is if your citrine has a white base. That is a huge indicator that it is heated amethyst. Genuine citrine will be yellow throughout. It won't have just yellow at the tip and white at the base. It'll be yellow all throughout the crystal. So if you have citrine that has a white base, it is most likely heated amethyst. So natural citrine, another thing you can look at as an indicator, not always, but usually is that heat treated citrine is usually a very bright yellow because the process changes it to be a bright yellow whereas genuine citrine is more of a smoky honey color it's deeper in color or the color is not faded if it's really really bright and kind of almost looks like pea it's usually heat treated amethyst so you really want to look for that dark smoky honey color. One other thing to look for if it is heat treated amethyst is if it has a root. Most citrine doesn't have a root at the bottom like an amethyst root would. So if it has a root and especially if that root is white and the color is focused at the top that is most likely heat treated amethyst. And the last thing to look for when you're buying citrine is your citrine should be pretty clear. It shouldn't be cloudy. It should be pretty clear because in the process of heating up amethyst this sometimes it makes that crystal very cloudy so if your citrine is really cloudy it most likely is heat treated amethyst if your citrine is pretty clear and there is no fogginess it is most likely genuine citrine okay so the last crystal we are going to be discussing today is turquoise now turquoise is extremely expensive and pretty rare to find most of the turquoise on the market today is typically fake or stabilized turquoise so stabilized turquoise is meaning that there's turquoise but it's mixed with other things to help stabilize it so the color doesn't fade or change or anything like that it still has turquoise in it but it's not a hundred percent genuine turquoise so fake turquoise could be anything from resin to to dyed howlite. There's many forms that fake turquoise can take so you have to be really careful when purchasing it and I'm going to give you some signs to look for when buying real turquoise. And just another fun fact, it is said that only 3% of turquoise on the market is actually genuine. Genuine turquoise can cost you in the hundreds of dollars, especially for full necklaces. Sometimes those can be a thousand dollars. So if you're getting turquoise necklaces or turquoise jewelry pieces for 10 or $15, it is most likely fake. 
So kind of like Larimar, you want to look at the pattern of the turquoise. Real turquoise will have a bubble or spiderweb like pattern, whereas fake turquoise just doesn't have that. So that's one thing to really look for. Look for the pattern. The lines shouldn't be even or thin. They should be uneven. They should have cracks. They should have inclusion. So that's one thing to look for. Look at the pattern of the turquoise. For example, if you look at Howlite, the lines are very thin and and very even and if you look at genuine turquoise the lines are thicker uneven bulky the pattern is much more scrambled it's really easy to tell the difference between dyed howlite and turquoise so another thing to note is there is no such thing as white turquoise so if you see that on the market it is most likely just howlite so another thing to look at when you are buying real turquoise is real turquoise will have many, many shades of blue, green, and turquoise, whereas dyed turquoise will just be one solid shade. So in nature, you'll get many, many hues, kind of like malachite, of different shades of blue, green, and turquoise, whereas dyed, it'll be evenly dyed all over, so you will only get one color. So that is a huge indicator. If your turquoise is just solid green or solid blue, it is is most likely fake. And this is one thing to look for when buying turquoise. This isn't always true, but turquoise tends to have pyrite in it. So you often will see turquoise with little hints of gold, and that is the pyrite, whereas howlite and the other crystals that are faked for turquoise do not actually form with pyrite in them. So you will never see howlite with pyrite in it, but you will often see turquoise with pyrite in it. So that is one big indicator to look for. If you see a little speck of gold in your turquoise that probably means it is genuine okay guys that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching make sure to watch part one if you want to learn about how to look for fake crystals in clear quartz larimar and moldavite if you guys have any more crystals that you want me to cover in this fake crystal series let me know in the comments down below and i will work on making a video on how to spot more fake crystals out in the market i hope you guys found this video helpful thank you guys so much for watching and the support really means the world to me please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and i will see you guys on the next one bye